is, recall guys, to write the equation of a line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We need three things, correct? Three things. Now again, we know the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine of x, so we'll get that memorized by tomorrow. We need to know what the slope is, right? We need to know what the slope is, and we need to know what the x and y coordinates are. If we want to write the equation of a line, we need to have an x and a y coordinate, or a point, and we need to have the slope, correct? Now, in this problem, we're given an x coordinate. Awesome. Actually, let's, let's do this here. This is your slope, and this is your point. So let's figure out what m is and what x, x, y is. So we know x is pi over 4. So if I need to be able to figure out what y is, I just know I need to plug that into the function and find the y, right? And I saw some of you guys do this first. Perfectly fine. So let's do that. Um, let's take y equals 2 times the cosine of pi over 4. Knowing the unit circle, pi over 4 is going to be square root of 2 over 2. So y equals um, 2 times the square root of 2 over 2. y equals the square root of 2. Is everybody okay with that? Is everybody yes? Define the slope of the tangent line. I thought it was supposed to be based off the derivative. You're right. I didn't find the slope yet. I just found the x and the y coordinate. But you're right. Now we need to find the slope. So how do we find the slope? What do we do with the slope? Well, remember, if we have some crazy curve, the slope at any given point is going to be that local linearity or that tangent line. So how do we find that tangent line, local linearity? We take the derivative of the function. So we take the derivative of the function and then evaluate it at that point. So here, we need to find the derivative of y to cosine of x. So I'm going to say y prime is basically just going to be 2 negative sine of x, right? Because the cosine of x is negative sine of x. So in reality, this is still equal to y prime is equal to negative 2 sine of x. However, that is the equation for the slope of the graph. We want to find what is the slope at pi over 4, right? So when we want to find the slope at pi over 4, I need to evaluate my function for pi over 4. So I'm going to do negative 2 times the sine of pi over 4. Now I'm evaluating my tangent function at pi over 4. Again, sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So I'm left with negative 2 times the square root of 2 over 2. 2's divide out, I'm left with a negative square root of 2. So my slope is the negative square root of 2. So now, guys, I have my y coordinate, I have my x coordinate, and I have my slope. So to write my equation, I'll just do y minus y1, which is square root of 2, equals m, which is negative square root of 2, times x minus pi over 4. There you go. That's it. Done.